We, Dane and Alette from Hikeaholics are embarking on another journey. This time we are in Italy, on the beautiful island of Sardinia. We are hiking the Camino Minerario di Santa Barbara in the southwest of Sardinia. The CMSB is a 500 km long Camino, which is divided into 30 stages. We are hiking stage 11 till 18 from Montimanu to Nuji, 100 km along this beautiful trail. We are walking on the most ancient land in Italy, along mountains, mines, characterized by the millennial mining epic of Sardinia. Welcome to the CMSB. Good morning from beautiful Italy. Right now we're on the island of Sardinia and we're hiking the Camino de Minerario de Santa Barbara or in English the Mining Trail of St. Barbara. Yesterday we arrived at this beautiful, beautiful Passado. Uh, we arrived here by car. We were welcomed really, really warmly by the great organization. So thanks to Margarita and Nicolai for bringing us here. The drive over here was Pretty spectacular actually, it was like on a dirt road and very steep and in the middle of the forest and we slept like babies here because, listen, it's so quiet here. We didn't expect that from Sardinia to be honest. We're spending six days on this beautiful trail. Today is the first day from Monte Manau and it's 20 kilometers to Pubusimo. Pubusino? Yeah, it's 20 kilometers <laughs> to Pubusimo. It should take about eight hours with 900 meters of climbing, 650 meters of descent. So it's a pretty challenging first day, but we're really excited. The weather forecast for this week, only sunny, sunny, sunny. So that's why we brought our sun hoodies. Yeah, like we said, can't wait. We're really excited, right? Yeah, really excited. How's the trail been so far? Really beautiful. It's like wet sands with like Mediterranean landscapes, you know, like olive trees and everything is really dry but really green. And there are geckos sprinting in front of us all the time. It's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. It's more mountainy than I thought uh, Sardinia would be. And now we are eating a small snack because we are starting the climb in like, I think a few meters. It's a 600 meter climb. 900. 900 meter climb, okay. Maybe I need an extra snack for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So normally there's water running here and you have to do a river crossing. But it's late summer, it's early September and it's bone dry here. So there's no water at all. There was supposed to be a waterfall, but of course without water there will be no waterfall. Just a fall. Just a fall. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but it's easier to get over the water now. Like to do the river crossing. Mortadella. We just had a lovely break where we had some lunch and uh, now it's only 200 meters climbing towards the highest point of the trail. at a little town called Arenas and we're supposed to get a stamp here for the booklet but all the gates are closed so I'm not sure but I think we just have to continue from here it's five kilometers to the place where we're going to sleep um, I don't know the name but I will write it here uh, so five more kilometers and from here it's only downhill, so not very long. It should take about an hour, two hours maybe. And there, from what we heard, is a very good chef who makes dinner for us. Like and his a good name pasta. is Alessandro. Alessandro, the chef. So, can't wait. Bubusimo. And we are really warmly welcomed by Alessandro. You can see it was a really hot day, so my face is a bit, well, not sunburned, just warm. It was really hot today. Yeah. It was like 35 degrees Celsius, and we were walking from shade to shade, and there were no water sources along the way. Like everything was 
bone dry, but luckily we just took enough water. But now we're waiting for the famous food of Alessandro. Yeah, we can't wait. He's super, super friendly to us and we will show you the amazing food he will prepare. How's the taste? Mm. It's incredible. Ale Alessandro doesn't speak one word of English. So he's everything translating in his phone. So all the local dishes that we don't even know, he has to translate it in his phone and trying to explain it to us. But so far it's incredible, the smell. I wish you could smell it. And the taste is great. And today's hike was really beautiful. Something, to be honest, we didn't expect of Sardinia. Those mountains here, there are really beautiful mountains and beginning of the day there was a very steep climb and afterwards it was a little bit less steep and then we only had downhills but like the technical part today was really a lot of fun and the views were just amazing it was yeah i don't know i didn't know what i expected from sardinia but it was more than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, and, and, amazing. and like a little bit different environment than we're used to. Because this region has a lot of abandoned mines. So there were a lot of abandoned buildings and old roads. Really strange, but really cool. Yeah, it was really like you stepped into history and it felt like the, the, the mine workers could just walk in that instant moment. But it was so, yeah different than we're used to it. Yeah. That's the right word and I absolutely love it. Good morning. Buongiorno, buongiorno. It's the second day on the Camino and uh, this morning we woke up at Pubushinu. Pubushinu, <laughs> yeah. And the host there, his dinner was incredible. We ate so much. Really, really, really recommend this place. Yeah, he had lots of starters and we thought that was like the whole dish, but they were only the starters. And then we had like a first course and a second course and he wanted to give us fruits and dessert, and, dessert and, and coffee. And it was, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah, but we felt very, very welcome. And that way we are very energized for today because it's quite a big stage today. It's 21 kilometers to the end place, San Benedicto? Uh, San Benedetto. San it Benedetto. are actually two stages combined, stage 12 and stage 13. Yeah. And today we're also going to visit one of the caves here. There are lots of caves in Sardinia and the one we are going to visit is called Sumanau. And we're also going to a temple and that's the temple the Antas. And yeah, I'm pretty curious how everything looks. Really curious, yeah. yeah. And it's 700 meters of elevation gain today and 600 meters of descent, but the beginning is quite flat.
enjoying the ice cream? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really hot outside. And like I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to eating this ice cream and then going into a really cool cave. <laughs> We're at the entrance of the Sumanau cave. Um, and they will provide us with an English audio tour. Um, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to the cave. I don't know what to expect to be honest, but let's see.
it was a pretty long day to be honest, but the views were incredible. And now we're in the Posada of San Benedicto. If I pronounce it correctly? San Benedetto, I'm San not Benedetto. sure. <laughs> uh, when we arrived here, we couldn't find the Posada, to be honest, but the people from this town were very friendly and very helpful. We went to a little market where we bought some fresh fruits, which we are craving. Yeah, and in every Posada that, by the way, a Posada is a house that's um, organized by the yeah, by the organization of the, of, the, of, the, of the Camino. And Posada means place of rest. So yeah. this is a place of rest. Um, and so it's specially made for the pilgrims who hike the Camino. And at every Posada you can give like a gift for the use of their food. Because in every Posada there's like rice and pasta and sauces and um, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, that like pilgrims can use to cook for themselves and then yeah, have a nice evening here. Yeah, so let us say it, have a nice evening. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to cook some dinner. I think some famous lettuce pasta, <laughs> which I'm really looking forward to it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Buongiorno, buongiorno. It's day three. Yeah, it's day three. <laughs> Woohoo, it's day three. Of the CMSB. That's <laughs> what I wanted to say, but that was like a little tongue twister. Tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> it's day three on the CMSB. Uh, this morning we woke up in the Posada of San Benedetto. And San Benedetto is a really cute old town with a lovely church with like little umbrellas hanging over it. And it's like really a cozy old city right yeah we really enjoyed it and after a long day yesterday with quite a lot of hiking and enjoying the caves we arrived there pretty late today is a similar day lengthwise but a bit easier um, there's a 600 meter climb and after that that's 1100 meters descent towards domas novas where we will be staying tonight and in about one or two kilometers we're gonna pass a very old railway track the railway track is not there anymore, but it's built in the 19th century, which is pretty cool. One hour later. How did we know we were walking the wrong way? Uh, well, we saw a sign and then we looked left and we saw a beautiful old structure and we thought, what? The railway track is supposed to be on the right and it's on the left. So that's how we found out that we took the wrong turn accidentally. So if we have to go back now, we have to return five kilometers and walk it again. So I'm going to take the drone and show you what we missed.
And along the whole trail, it smells absolutely amazing. Like as you can see, there are rosemary bushes here and there are olive trees and other kind of herb plants. And it's just, the smells are absolutely incredible. And from here, it's only a little uphill, the last uphill from today. And from there on, it's a big descent from like 1200 meters descending, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congelates in coastal plains Endless views that we're passing through Making our way to a distant place Just us two Somewhere near So this morning we missed the old railway track, but guess what? There is another one. It's the Scavi Miniera su Corraval, if my Italian is correct for now. But the next two kilometers we're walking on an old railway track, which is pretty cool. And afterwards, we have one more surprise for you. What are you doing, Alet? I'm cooling down. Like there are caves and I think like old mine tunnels all along the trail. And from like the inside of the, of the cave or the tunnel, there's like really cool air coming out. So during the hot days, it's really a refreshing moment to stand in front of a tunnel. Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. What is it? Yeah, it's like a never ending tunnel. Enjoying the Italian salami? Mm. Very good. Italians people know how to make like good food, you know? Enjoying the food every single day. <laughs> you have an incredible view behind you, what's that? 
I don't know, go see it. <laughs> Sorry. That's the San Giovanni cave. And that's a 800 meter long cave. And we are walking straight through it, right? Yeah, and how's the lighting inside? <laughs> from what we heard? <laughs> yeah. uh, from what we heard, there should be pedestrian lights. But we saw a review on Google that only one in 10 lights are working. So it's probably a bit dark. But I hear some comforting music as well, so I'm really curious how the experience will be. And we have our headlamps, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. In case you don't want to hike through the tunnel, there's also a variant, so a different route that goes probably over the tunnel, so you won't have to go through the tunnel. <laughs> So we have to get hair nets and a helmet to pass it. <laughs> you look awesome. I know, it's the latest fashion. So the lady said just five euros to pass through? Yeah, five euros per person and there's a QR code and then you can pass through the cave. The San Giovanni cave with its 860 meters of internal road is classified as the longest carriage cave in the world. The cave was created by a river. In the 19th century a road was built through the cave to allow transport of timber first and lead and zinc ores later. Transport first carried out by cart pulled by animals but soon became motorized. This road was asphalted in the 70s and electric lights were installed along the road. The access to the San Giovanni cave was closed to cars only 10 years after the cave was declared a natural monument in 1989. Oh, this cave was really beautiful, right? Yeah, it was super, super beautiful. It was a bit dreamy, magical and like there were... Vleermuizen? Oh, bats? Bats. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Vleermuizen in Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> there were bats flying around and doves and it was really like... I don't know. It was really dreamy, right? Yeah, dreamy and very calming actually. And like Aletta said, there were some reviews on Google that it was very bad lit, but there were lights everywhere and it was just incredible. So we can really recommend doing this hike instead of the variant. We didn't hike the variant, of course, so maybe we have to check that out one day, but this is something you really cannot miss, uh, in our opinion. From here, it's only three more kilometers to Domas Novas, where we will be staying tonight.
morning. Good morning, buongiorno. Today is day four of the mining trail of St. Barbara. We started this morning in Domus Novas. Yesterday we arrived at a beautiful B&B of Carlo. He warmly welcomed us with like drinks and it was a really nice place. And the village of Domus Novas is like a typical old Italian village, if you ask me, like all the colored houses, the... People sitting on the benches yeah. and talking and pointing with their hands. It's really <laughs> fun to see. <laughs> and we had an amazing dinner last night as well mm. at Temptation Restaurant. Really can recommend it. So this morning we left Domus Novas and now we're on our way to Ortumanu, if I'm correct, if mm -hmm. I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's 15 kilometers from here and it's a pretty flat hike and we're passing a couple of old villages. So really excited for today. Weather is beautiful again. So there was like this man running behind us, pointing to our camera and saying YouTube, YouTube. And we were like, yeah, we're making videos for YouTube. And we didn't know what was going on. But this man is also a YouTube creator and he invited us into his home, giving us water. And his wife even helped me with my like mosquito bites on my legs. <laughs> 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 they were so friendly. It felt like I was invited in their family. That's so, so super friendly. So we're almost at the place where we will be staying tonight, four more kilometers and it should take about one to one and a half hours, but it is really, really, really hot today. And we think it's even the hottest day on the trail so far. And today is quite a lot of rope walking. So that made it extra challenging. But we met some amazing people along the way. Like Paolo, who's supposed to be a famous guy here. He gave us cola and a coffee. And in all the little villages, there were like Italian people inviting us over and giving us water. And we just met a couple of people while we we're having a cola and we gave them beer. And it's just very friendly people over here that really makes this day really special. So 
Supposedly we can get some fresh water here. It's five cents per liter. That's really, really Sparkling, cheap. Sparkling, natural, very cool and normal. Very cool? Yeah, Freda. Oh. <laughs> Good. Frio. Frio. Freda. Freda. What's called in Italian? Freda. Fredo. Freda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> at our B&B Orangeville and the people here are super super friendly and like the interior of this home that's actually my dream home there are like three dogs and six cats all kittens by the way and it's all super colorful and they built this house like uh, by their own and it's super 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 pretty and the hosts are incredible as well first thing they did was introduce their dogs and then their cats and then themselves and we already knew that those were the kinds of people who we could really connect with <laughs> i absolutely love it this is my dream place Good morning. Good morning. This morning we woke up in a beautiful B&B named Orangeville and I absolutely loved the place. There were so many cats and dogs and the owners were super super friendly and they gave us really nice breakfast and lunch. And currently we're standing in front of or behind? In front of? In front of the olive tree. That's a really famous olive tree in Sardinia because it's already more than a thousand years old. Yeah. And like the trunk. The diameter is 8 meters, so it's a really big one and well, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, it's really impressive here and today, yesterday we had a flat walk and today is more climbing. It's 15 kilometers to Rosas, which is an old mining village and it's around 600 meters climbing and 700 descent and at the end of the day, we're gonna sleep in the mining villages as well. So where the miners slept when they were our age, we're going to sleep there tonight as well, so we're very curious about that.
So we just finished lunch and just before that we visited the mining town of Orbai. So after that short visit we're now on our way to Rosas which is an old mining town as well. We will be staying there tonight and today we're actually hiking a variant so not the original trek. The original trek goes the other way around Santa Marieda Nature Park if I pronounce it correctly and we're going past the other way but it's supposed to be a very beautiful spot as well from here it's about mm, five kilometers to Rosas so not very far so we're taking it very slow while enjoying the beautiful but hot weather You can see these strange looking trees where the bottom part is really dark and then like dark and then it starts to develop like a normal tree and I thought that were like special trees but I read in the travel guide that it are some sort of cork trees which they use the trunk they use as like the cork on top of the wine bottles. And right now we're back on the original trail so off the variant and back on the original trail and as you can probably see on my face, it's really, really hot, but we're almost at Rosas. So we just finished day five. Today was not that difficult. So we arrived at our beautiful old miner's house pretty early and we took some time to rest. And tomorrow it's already the last day on the CMSB. Um, tomorrow we will hike from Rosas where we are right now to Nuzis. Nuzi? Nuzi. If we pronounce it correctly, it will be a pretty easy day. So we're going to get some pizza now. Bye bye. It's day six on the Camino, which also means it's the last day on the Camino. And to be honest, we're a bit sad to leave the Camino, right? A bit sad. So far, it was really enjoyable and way better than expected, to be honest. We're not sure what we would expect, but 
the mountains, the people. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. Yeah, and this morning we woke up in Rosas. That's the mining village. And uh, we woke up in a mining house and it was really, really special. Like, it felt really special, to be honest. And yesterday we had a really nice pizza over at the same place. And yeah, the people there are also really friendly. So we absolutely love the experience to wake up in a mining village. And it's not finished. Today we have a short hike towards our finishing point in Nushi. Noxis, I'm not sure how you pronounce it actually. But it's a 12 kilometer hike uh, with a little bit of elevation gain of 300 meters and almost the same of descending. So it's not that long day and there we're gonna have an incredible lunch. Let's meet down at the lonely lake Before summer has gone away Swim out under a broken sky Cold sun colored with shades of white Wave goodbye to last summer Cold air coming away soon Under the falling moon Tell me something about yourself You've never told to no one else Yes, 100 kilometers on this beautiful Camino. Sardinia took our heart. So everyone, we would really recommend this trail. If you want something else, something different for a change, right? Yeah, something historical, mountainy, there's the seaside. So Camino de Mineraro de Santa Barbara is really a recommendation. Allora, eh, questa volta è una pergamena eh, dove in poche righe era chiuso il senso del cammino. Queste righe sono state scritte dalle monache Clarisse del Buon Cammino di Iglesias eh, che hanno fatto una sintesi del, del senso del cammino e hanno dato eh, un senso chiaramente religioso al, al cammino. Però noi sappiamo che i pellegrini eh, fanno il cammino ciascuno dandogli il proprio, il proprio senso. Vi leggo il testo della, del testimonio. Si attesta che Alec Din, sotto la protezione della Beata Vergine del Buon Cammino, che indica e apre la via, 
e di Santa Barbara, Vergine e Martire, che intercede fortezza nelle avversità, hanno percorso a piedi, con spirito di devozione, il cammino minerario di Santa Barbara, attraverso le bellezze incontaminate del creato nella terra più antica d'Italia, lodando il creatore per le sue opere e contemplando l'opera dell'uomo nelle tracce di 8.000 anni di storia, con le sue glorie e le sue fatiche, visitando luoghi di culto e di aggregazione e facendo memoria della tradizione civile e religiosa del nostro popolo. Okay. I, will, uh, I will translate later. <laughs> ok, Alette. Okay. 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 Bravi! Grazie.